What's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, in this video we are going to be continuing where we left off in our previous video if you remember uh, for those of you who haven't watched the previous video there is a link in the description click on it below or you can just click on my name uh, it will take you to the channel page wherein you will have a list of all my videos uh, anyway uh, this is a continuation of where we left off in our previous video so I am just going to jump right into the video in our last video we talked about uh, not talked about we saw how to uh, get make a http request and get some json data right and we also saw how to extract specific fields from that uh, json data json response now in this video let's create a ui okay let's create a ui uh, to showcase that data to the user in a better way it will look like this the finished uh, u product will look like this okay we'll be listing all the uh, users in a list like this along with their numbers and when you tap on a user it will just take you to a second page wherein you can just see the user's DP there is no nothing in the second page I just wanted to demonstrate the tap functionality uh, plus this routing it is a simple routing technique it's not actual routing anyway this is what we are going to try to achieve in this uh, particular video so yeah stay tuned now this is where we left off right uh, for now we are simply printing data of zero of name which means that we will just uh, get the name from this which will have three fields that is uh, designation uh, title uh, first name and last name and uh, we are printing that object onto the screen let's just remove this first of all okay now we have this uh, data of uh, list data of type list and uh, we can build a list view from this right we can build a list view from this let's go ahead and do that the list view should be present in the body so we'll remove all this cool right now uh, before getting into this we'll just use the set state method so that no we'll first uh, without the button itself as soon as the app loads we need to make that http call without the http call no data will be there right so we need to make that http call without having to tap on that button that we just removed so uh, in order to do that i'll go and go ahead and override my uh, init method okay init state method so i had to uh, sorry override init state void init state uh, this dot uh, get no, make request right what was it make request yeah make request and inside this rather than setting it like this i'll use a set state method so that uh, as soon as this data uh, this request is done it should automatically set the state right it should automatically show that data on the screen uh, that's exactly what i'm trying to imply here so set state and within that set state i'll have this sorry if i excuse the ambient noises guys uh, there is water scarcity here in India and uh, in the middle of night suddenly uh, the government will release water so people will try to you know there will be a flurry of activity <laughs> so excuse the ambient noises even though it's around 3.40 in the night anyway uh, cool right so now that we have the uh, data uh, I mean now that we are performing that request as soon as the app gets loaded as soon as the app gets loaded we are making the request we are getting the data and we have this excellent uh, uh, list variable called data inside which all this stuff is stored now we just need to use this here in uh, this particular uh, scaffold inside this scaffold right so uh, what i'll do is first i'll have an app bar as usual app bar new uh, app bar title uh, con contact list okay oh sorry this is you should type it as new text like new text contact list okay and uh, this is the app bar inside the body what i'll do is i'll uh, we already studied this in the lists and dialogues video i'll once again link, link that video in the description kindly watch it if you haven't watched that I have explained about this list view dot builder in detail there okay so uh, new list view dot sorry dot 
builder inside this uh, first i'll have item count so that it's not an infinite list uh, if data equals null uh sorry null sorry item count will be zero else item count will be data dot length okay why is this showing okay i'll make this global okay uh this is fine then we need to build the actual stuff right this will be a build context where is build context build context context and uh, comma i cool this will be a function and inside this what i'll do is return return a uh, uh, list tile okay list tile i already uh, spoke about this in the lists and dialogs video kindly watch it if you haven't already uh, return new list tile what's happened oh return oh sorry i didn't close this yet subtitle this again will be new text and uh, date of i this time it will be i'll give the number uh, this phone number okay so uh, date of i and it's just phone phone cool right now we have uh, text and the number we need to have the small avatar to the left so obviously to the left it's leading to the right it's trailing so uh, leading there is a separate uh, we get called circle avatar we'll make use of that circle avatar and inside this uh, you just need to give the background image background image we'll make use of new network image since you are going to be uh, loading the my clock is chiming again since you are going to be loading the image through a url okay new network image uh, what was that url data of i let's just check here picture data of i of picture and uh, we'll give thumbnail data of i picture thumbnail cool uh this is done as well and circle avatar we need to oh, okay cool right now we should have a list with all our data uh, that will correspond to two particular stuff one is the first name and the other one is the contact number on the left of it we'll have a small uh, avatar which will display the profile picture of the user from the json data that json response that we get but wait this will return only one particular user right it will return only one particular user we need a list of users so let's try to see we just need to give results and uh, something result sorry results equals 15 cool right now let's run this and try to see what happens wow cool right now we are able to see the list and this list is scrollable as well and as you can see as we scroll new stuff got loaded up right see you can see that new stuff are getting uh, loaded up lazy loading that's what i'm trying to say here and uh, we have a list of contacts with their uh, profile pictures to the left side the first name and the uh, contact number here now uh, we have achieved half of what we were trying to accomplish how to send this data if i click on if i tap on this then uh, it should take me to a new page wherein i can just see this profile picture or just the name or whatever the data of that particular person on which uh, on uh, on the list I, list item that i just tapped on so how to do that let's go ahead and do that now uh, what i'll do is i'll in order to get to the second page i'll create a new material page so in essence i'll create a new class okay that's it right that's a new material page right so uh, what i'll do is i'll uh, we just need to invoke the on tap method here guys wait uh, on tap is a function okay 
and uh, I need to write some data here. Uh, I need to write some code here that will make a wait. I will write that code. It's pretty much a little bit lengthy, so I'll edit this part out in post. I'll write that code and then we'll get back into this. So, okay, now we have uh, like how do I say this? We have a I have written a second class for a second page. What this will do is uh, it'll it's similar to the first page. It'll have a app bar. And the uh, body, what I'm doing is I'm returning a new container. A container is something that can be used to hold your widgets. Okay. In simple terms, it can be just used to hold your widgets. And you can resize a container. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff with container. A container comes with a lot of uh, like uh, attributes that can be used to modify uh, what's present inside the container. Cool, right? Uh, for now, you understand it like that. It's a basic definition that I'm giving. A lot of stuff can be done with the container. Here, I'm setting the width and height of that uh, to uh, 150. And uh, this decoration is like decoration. How do I say this? Uh, it's like uh, I, I think it will be better if I say what's a box decoration. A box decoration is nothing but something that allows you to paint a box on the screen, guys. It allows you to create a box, uh, place a box on the screen. So if you place a box, there will automatically be a box shadow behind that. Uh, there are other attributes that you can specify when you paint a box right on the screen. That's exactly what this does. And we, here we are uh, doing it inside this container, uh, which is again presented to the body so that it will be uh, shown in the screen of the application. Now what I am doing inside this uh, box that I have just painted, I am just giving it a color and then uh, I am using an image, which is nothing but our, uh, this one, this image, Where's this image, the large image. This is what I am using here. Cool, right? The next thing what I am doing is boxfit.cover will uh, uh, cover the entire uh, try to cover the entire box decoration, uh, I mean entire box without scaling, with uh, keeping the original uh, what's the dimensions of that particular image. Without scaling that image, it will try to cover the entire uh, size of that particular box. That's what this boxfit.cover will do. Uh, now what I'll do is, the next thing I'm doing is, I'm specifying a border radius for that particular box and then I am making it circular. So that this circular radius should be half of this width and height okay that's uh, if it's not half of it then it'll just look like uh, the borders of the box are just rounded that's how it I'll, I'll show a demonstration of that uh, in a minute and i'm specifying a color for the border that's it so it uh, what essentially will happen is that the image will be present in the center of the screen inside a box inside a container uh, inside a box and that box will be having like a circular shape Okay, cool, right? I hope you understand what I'm trying to convey here. Uh, now we'll just make call the screen and I'll show it on the screen. I mean, I'll show it on uh, the mobile device. I'll show it on the emulator. You'll get a better understanding of what I'm trying to, what I was trying to say so far. Fine, you understand what's happening here, right? I am simply uh, using the navigator.push to push in a new view inside our screen. And uh, uh, that page is nothing but this second page. In the second page, I have a constructor that initializes this final uh, data, this variable. And to give data to this constructor, I am simply passing in our data of i, which is nothing but the uh, list style that on which you tapped. Cool, right? So far you understand, right? Now, uh, this data of i will be sent here. This will be stored in data, which means that I can simply invoke it like this to get my specific image, to get the specific image on which you tapped. Now let's run it on an emulator. You'll see how this uh, functions. See, it's cool, right? Now you can see what we have done here. See this uh, image, I'm tapping it. We are getting that exact image, right? See this image, tapping it, getting that exact profile picture here. Now you understand how we did this so far, right? Now I told you if you need to give this exactly half, if you don't give it half, it'll just now watch what happens. See, you just have a, a square box with rounded uh, edges, right? Rounded edges. So this should be exactly half. That's what I was trying to say here. What essentially happens is that uh, whenever I am, whenever I, whenever I am tapping a particular uh, list tile, the data of i is sent to the second page in a new as a new material page root, which I am pushing to the navigator, which means that this particular page would get created and then 
pushed into our navigator stack which means that uh, this is the view that's going to be shown up in the screen right when i'm tapping it's getting pushed so that this is the view that's getting uh, shown on shown to us now what this will do this will store this data here and what it will do is it will create an app bar and then it will centerize this center this con content which i am uh, giving in the child this is just a container and uh, the container has a box the box has a radius which makes it literally into a circle and that radius has a color of red now what i am doing i am placing taking this data placing that uh, image inside that particular uh, uh, box simply using network image which i uh, explained here right the same thing i am using here and uh, i'm giving it a fit and uh, that's it that's pretty much it and we get this wonderful uh, user screen user screen so yeah guys this is how you take the data and make use of it in your mobile application obviously uh, this is just a very very basic way of showing what can be created with flutter there are a lot of if you just type flutter ui there are a lot of people taking ui designs from dribble and then trying to recreate the entire design using flutter in a very simple way for both ios and android we can also do stuff like that but we'll do that at a later point of time we are just starting now right so this is entirely this is entirely based on uh, what we have learned so far we learned how to make http request we learned how to do lists we learned both of those right i have used both those here in order to make this thing possible in order to make this possible so this is how you use whatever you learn whatever the coding you learn to create out uh, nice interfaces that can be uh, used across your applications guys uh, if you like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button just hit the thumbs up thumbs up button it's free right uh, and subscribe to this channel again it's free just click the subscribe button uh, if you like what i'm doing on this channel help kindly share this video with someone and help them to uh yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video and all those lists video and uh, the what was the one other thing i said uh, uh, http request video all that i have attached links are in the description below kindly watch them as well and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye